if you want to change settings for a certain subset of users, you can use groups for that. But the best way to do it is to use organizational units and logically put your staff in organizational units that have individual policies applied to them. when I share a file folder inside a shared unit, I can choose for that share to be restricted or it can be shared to company members or anyone with the link. In my case, when I choose restricted or company members, it's the same. They, it includes all company members. How can I customize what restricted should be? Thanks in advance. This is a great question because I think this is actually a drive setting that might be incorrect for this user. Now, when you have settings set up for Google Drive inside Google Workspace, you have a global setting for Google Drive in a global policy. Now, when you have a global policy, it means that it applies to everyone in the organizational unit right across your company. Now, if you want to change settings for a certain subset of users, you can use groups for that, but the best way to do it is to use organizational units and logically put your staff in organizational units that have individual policies applied to them. In this case, it looks like it's something that this person wants to manage right across the whole company. So let's go and look at the global policy for Google Drive and see what we can see inside there. So the first place we wanna go is to our admin panel. We're gonna to go to admin.google.com and that's gonna bring up our dashboard. Now we wanna look at our Google Drive settings. So let's search for Drive and we're gonna bring up the settings for Drive and Docs. And what we're gonna be looking for here is sharing settings. Google put that right up the top for us, nice and easy. And you're gonna look for what the default access is amongst your files. For whatever reason, I'm not sure exactly why, but sometimes when you create a file, Google may set some of the file sharing settings to be a little liberal, meaning that when you create a file, it might automatically share that file with everybody inside your company. You can see here, one of those settings is called general access default. And if I open that, you can see here that if it's set to the primary target audience can search for and find the item, it's automatically gonna share this file with anybody who has access inside my company. So basically it means that your files inside the company are gonna be public to each other and everyone's gonna be able to find each other's files. Now you can see here, you may choose to have link sharing enabled by default. That's another one that some companies have set up. And my personal preference is really that all files should be private only to the owner and not shared right across the company. It just keeps things a little bit tidier and it means that no one's looking at files that they shouldn't be. You can see here, when shared drives are created, you've got settings there. You've got sharing um, suggestions. That looks like a little AI feature there, which is pretty cool. But adjusting these settings are probably going to help you to find where the amiss is with uh, sharing things with a restricted basis, but them still appearing open for everyone in the business. Have a look through those settings. Let me know if you can't work that out. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.